y'all. Uh, this is Madeline from Freeway Music Irmo. And uh, today for our second uh, YouTube lesson, we're going to start with some familiar warm-ups from last video. And then I'm gonna move into a couple of tips about breath and about how to get your larynx down <clears throat> and out of your throat um, to make a relaxed, free space for your air to flow through. So um, with that in mind, Let's go to the E-Aw warm-up that we did last time. So this will be the um, e okay? And we want a deep, full breath with this. Remember last time we talked about feeling the cold air on the back of your throat. So breathe in as if you're feeling that cold air on the back of the throat. Ready? change in your inhale, the feeling the air on the back of your throat, it opens up that space and fills up your capacity for air like 10 times more. If you think about it, some, some people think of breathing for singing as breathing into your stomach. And while that is helpful in the way that you think of getting it out of this top area, it's not super realistic, right? Because we're not, we don't have anywhere to store air in our stomachs. So it's literally thinking about expanding the ribcage to make room for the lungs. The lungs are what is pushing against your body to create extra space. So if you watch me it, and how much I push against my hands when I breathe, that's the motion and the goal that we want to use. One more time. We want to fill up from there. So the opposite of that would be filling up really from a point of tension and very quick and up top here. A lot of people when they're, they have a very short time span perhaps to breathe or it, it ends up being, and then that doesn't end up really supplying enough air for even like three or four notes. You want to really fill up that gas tank so you can keep that phrase running because that's what's so impressive in a song that you're trying to perform is being able to keep that phrasing, keep that breath line and stay strong and supported. So with that in mind, continuing that um, inhale toward the back of the throat to expand the rib cage, we're adding that rib cage expansion now. Let's do the same vowels, but on a full octave. So we'll do the Okay, remember last time we talked about closed vowel to an open vowel. That's what's pushing our larynx down and getting it out of our way, out of our throats. Ready? Thank you. 
we're building little um, puzzle pieces together. So we're doing, now we have the expansion of the rib cage to, as one tool to keep the breath full and strong the entire time. Then we have the breathing into the back of the throat, feeling that coldness on the back of the throat. Um, we also have the larynx going down, so the yaw, 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 getting that tension out of the back of the tongue and slowly pushing that larynx down, down, down. You can get that with a yawn motion. Oh, I feel that height back there that you get. Oh. Um, or also by sort of envisioning that you have some marbles or an egg or something large in the back of your throat that you're trying not to press down on. Um, or again, my, my personal favorite lately is the breathing into the back of the throat and feeling that cool air because I found that to be super duper effective. Okay, so let's do a chromatic scale. We'll start here on an E. And remember this chromatic scale is where we build half step on half step. So, okay, so we're going half step at a time. If you're on your own piano, that's just literally every single white and black note right next to each other, half steps. Um, one of the easiest scales to play on the piano is a chromatic. So um, I just cycle through the vowels. So let's start on an E and go a little bit slowly. Make sure to really fill up that gas tank with air. Ready, deep breath. <laughs> connected from one um, note to, the, to its complete octave opposite. It really helps connect all those notes together and helps you feel if there's a transition in between there in your voice, helps you feel that and smooth it out every single time. Now we're going to change to ah, deep breath. your upper range. By the way, earlier we went to all the way to a high G when we were doing that octave warm up. So um, excellent to anyone who made it up there. But if you don't, feel free to just go down the octave while we're on that, that part or just drop out and um, hop back in when it's back in your register. Everybody has a different range. So let's do um, a little bit of agility here. We'll stick with an E vowel. But this is going to be the E we did a little bit last week. Ready? Deep breath. E Thank you. 
mouth shape should be super duper relaxed. So the E should just be like E, just letting your jaw hang open rather than none of this E. That's a little bit too forceful and it's creating tension in these um, muscles in the mouth. Um, anything that engages your muscles around your mouth or your jaw too much in a warm up or really at all in a warm up is not what we want. We want to just completely disengage and just like feel like a totally like you're sleeping and your jaw fell open um because what remember what we want is completely supported and strong air but in a free space so everything from your collarbones up should be super duper relaxed completely asleep just letting air pass through again easier said than done but <laughs> that's what we're aiming for okay let's do one more warm up oh but before that let's quickly do a little stretch so let's continue with our shoulder stretch that we did last time take this hand reach down and then lean to the opposite side take this arm over to the ear create some negative space in there and then breathe with me Roll the neck forward and around and switch sides. So this arm reaches down, this one reaches over and around, create some negative space in that shoulder. This one's a little harder for me. And breathe in. All right, roll to the front again one more time. Kind of loosen up that neck a little bit. Okay, do. Let's do our last warm up. So let's do the minor exercise that we did last time. We'll end with that, a nice ear training exercise. Um, it's as a reminder. Wee, 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 wee. So we're listening for that dropped third in the middle. Wee. Make sure you're keeping that nice forward placement. A relaxed space for the E. We ready to do it together. We that um, every day if you'd like but I would slowly build up every other day is great and then build to every single day we want to aim for 15 to 20 minutes of warm-ups every single day just like you know just like working out if you don't use that muscle you'll you'll lose it um, okay so feel free to ask any questions. I will be live on our Facebook, on the Freeway Music Facebook, Fridays at noon. So you can check me out there. Um, but until then, I'll see you all next week.